Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to this CarTech video. In this video, we're going to be taking a, a little look at the features of the iCarSoft POR version 2.0 kit. Now, this is a Porsche Cayenne that we're in right now, the 2013 Porsche Cayenne. And this car does actually have a little bit of a fault at the moment, so we'll look at that with this tool um, and look at the other functions and features that the tool has as well. So at the minute, uh, you can pick this up at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'm going to put a link to this kit in the description below this video. So we have the tool plugged into the diagnostic port. One end of the cable is plugged in right there. The other end is plugged in underneath the steering wheel, but before we get to the pedals. And um, that's what gives it its power. So it gets its power from the actual vehicle. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to show you, um, well, we'll go through all of these menu systems uh, so you can get a greater idea of what the tool is all about and how it's used. It's not a touch screen, you, you need to you toggle around all of the menu options with the buttons. So first of all, what I think we'll do is we'll go in and we'll see if we can diagnose this little fault here. Well, I, I've already diagnosed the fault, so I know exactly where to go and what to do. But just for the purposes of the video, I'll show you how we would go ahead and do that. So we'll go through and select our vehicle. Obviously it covers a wider range of Porsche cars as well. But we are in a Porsche Cayenne 92A from 2011 onwards. And we're going to manually select the system in which we wish to diagnose. So in this case, it's going to be PSM, Porsche Stability Management. That's their way of seeing ABS system. So we'll click on enter. Click on to read DTCs, which is Diagnostic Trouble Codes. Now it's giving us a strange link error there, which is not normally what we'd see. Let me just see if we get any read DTCs. Ah, here we go. I know, a momentarily uh, had a little bit of a blip there, but in any case, so we've got the, um, the fault code here So we've got a front left RPM sensor and front left speed sensor So it's giving us two faults both relating to the front left ABS sensor uh, Which we did know about and um, we are currently awaiting a new part So we can actually fit that and then get all of the faults once we've basically come into uh, Fixing the part we just click on to clear DTCs and that will get rid of all of the warning lights uh, from the dashboard and the fault codes from the, di uh, the diagnostic tool itself. So that's how you would diagnose, say for example, a PSM fault. Um, DME is the engine, Tiptronic, uh, gearbox, airbags, instrument clusters. You know, I'll go through now and show you all of the systems. It's telling us it's 6 of 41. So these are basically all of the systems that it will allow you to diagnose read codes from and reset should it be necessary okay so those are the systems that I will cover now what we'll do is we'll go back to the home screen and we'll have a look at some of the other options on the screen here. So um, we're going to look at the service option and the service option is basically special functions that the tool will have. Special functions and features. So we've got service, click on that and it's telling us it's going to allow us to do an oil service reset, electronic park and brake, um, battery management system, ETC, steering angle sensor, DPF. Two things which are actually missing from this tool is the injector coding and also the ABS brake bleeding. That's because this tool actually needs an update. So once it's updated, these options will be on the screen here. But um, these should speak for themselves. So we've got oil service reset. Um, when you've got a maintenance message to say that the car needs a service, you can reset those. Electronic park and brake, which will open and close the calibers if you do have electronic calibers on your vehicle. Uh, new battery registration, so uh, these are stop-start vehicles and when you put a new battery in an AGM type battery, you are required to actually register that vehicle to the vehicle to make it work properly. Um, electronic throttle control, steering angle sensor and DPF regeneration and reset. Um, so they are quite very useful options to have in a scan tool. This voltage option just gives us currently current battery voltage. 
so it gives us a maximum from this particular test a minimum from this particular test and also uh, live data which is going to be pretty impossible to read that but you get a good idea of where the battery is with this little option here and then we can click on to OBD2 and eOBD. This is a really good little option to have actually because let's say for example you really you really bought this tool for a Porsche Cayenne um, or what, any other Porsche but you also have maybe a Mercedes in your family or your friend group of friends and you you maybe want to diagnose an engine fault and that this will this option here will allow you to diagnose an engine fault in any other vehicle so it doesn't matter what you've got a ford an audi vw mercedes bmw use this option but the trouble with this is it'll only give you engine fault codes it won't give you the ability to say for example read an abs fault like we've just done um, so that's that option a good little feature to have then we've got review and this just basically, if say for example you were looking at live data, it gives you the option to record live data and pressing this option will allow you to read, uh, sorry, review the live data back. Uh, diagnostic trouble code lookup, so this has just basically a library installed of any fault codes. So let's say for example we put a P0300 in, click and uh, it's telling us it's a misfire. Um, if we put a P three zero one it's probably going to tell us a cylinder one cylinder one yeah so that's I mean that's just my experience and that I know what each fault is so that's quite handy to have if you wanted to double check on a fault code then we've got a setup of the tool uh, you've got your languages Dutch uh, sorry German Dutch French Spanish and then we've got unit of measure metric or imperial buzzer you can put a buzzer on so it beeps every time you press a key which is really quite annoying actually uh, a log of what we've uh, done and you can clear all of the data on the tool and you can reset reset the factory so that's that um, help just gives you a little bit of information about what is OBD OBD2 modes vehicle coverage etc so just a little bit of information and then about gives you the serial number um, passwords firmware packages and uh, software versions so that's really in a nutshell what the uh, the POR version 2.0 kit will do as I say it's a really handy tool if you are looking to maybe diagnose your own Porsche uh, or you want to just you know have a have a have a health check tool on hand at any one time um, just to make sure that your car is in good health um, I'd certainly recommend having one for the Cayenne in any case I would say well it's probably say for any car from say 2009 2010 onwards I'd probably recommend going for the Porsche POR 2.0 kit uh, there is also a 1.0 kit which I'll be doing an equal video on um, the two, or, the two kit has functions that are applicable to the newer vehicles from say 2010-11 onwards I suppose. Um, so if you've got a 10-11 onwards Porsche then I'd recommend going for this one. If you've got something like I don't know a 2005-6-7 uh, Porsche then I'd certainly recommend going for the 1.0 kit but look out for the video that I'm going to do on this one as well. Um, so that's it for now. I hope it's um, maybe giving you some information on what this tool will do and uh, don't forget of course I mentioned that an update will put on the uh, the injector coating and the ABS brake bleeding as well. So the tool is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com and I will put a link to this kit in the description below this video so it can take you straight to the product and you can have a better look at um, what's going on there. Thanks for watching this car.